wasn't gonna even say nothing about this. I've been dealing with this all morning, sitting up here with butterflies in my stomach, trying to do a show. You know, my my youngest daughter was shot last night. Who? She, Aaron. What? 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 She in the hospital right now. Uh, I'm no, 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 what? That's why I can't have focus because I'm sitting up here trying to do the morning show and trying to book my flight Wait, to Houston Aaron to go and shot? see about her. She was shot. Uh, How's shot she doing? Twice last night. She, oh, what? She's fine. Yeah, she's what? fine. It, it just, it just, I'm just so angry right now. <laughs> and and I, I just made the video about the eight year old kid and my daughter going to Whataburger to get something, something to eat last night and. You know, uh, uh, I go to bed around about 8, 30, or 9 o'clock, and I woke up text message. I, I got to do the show. I came trying to focus, trying to do the show, and trying to figure out, because it ain't hardly any flights because of, because of COVID. They, you know, it, it's limited flights. So I got to, you know, fly to Dallas and then drive down to Houston because it was a seven-hour layover. But the fact that uh, she's, you know, laying up in the hospital, I'm probably going to have to go into surgery. Oh my stuff. God. She just crying. She, she's crying. She's scared. I can't get to her. And I just, I just uh, hate it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and all the stuff these people out here trying to do to fight for the rights of black people. This is no discredit to Black Lives Matter because I believe that and I'm with that move, movement 110%. And, and one has nothing to do with the other. But there are some criminals in our community that we need to do something about. They are out here, not just my daughter. Some kids didn't make that eight year old kid did not make it. I'm okay with my daughter. Yeah. She's gonna be fine. But the eight the two eight year old kids in Atlanta, the eight year old boy in, in, in Birmingham, they got they mama got to go. I get the luxury of going to the hospital even if they don't let me upstairs to see her waiting in the lobby. Right? I get to wait in the lobby until the doctor comes down, and I get to text and talk to my daughter because I spoke to her this morning. She was crying and scared. But just think about all the parents. Forget me. Forget me. Think about all the parents that got to go pick out a casket this morning. Lord Jesus. Yep. We bad, man. Mm -hmm. You can't. You get mad at us for not, uh, old old folks done retired. They done retired. They can't even sit on the front porch. Because of y'all ass. Hey, Walking back and forth, cussing all loud, alley with your shorts and your underwear, showing no respect for authority, will cuss an old person out. Ugh. I don't understand it. Mm. And I just pray. I'm sitting up here a gunshot victim myself. Ugh. And it has affected my, uh, 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 shot one of my kids. Mm. And I'm still up here fighting and, and, and praying uh, 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 for, for, for the rights of black people and all of the parents that had to bury their loved ones due to gun violence in our own community by our own people. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh my God, Ricky. <laughs> Yeah, so if I, you know, but you can, but tell, it, it, you can tell that you're not all the way here. You can, t I could tell it was something on your skin. Yeah, you can, I you can, can tell too. We can feel it because you, you, you've been yeah. so quiet and stuff. And I'm like, something is going yeah. on. And I was gonna call you after this. Oh my God, she. Yeah, oh just, my I'm God. Just, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. I'm so sorry to hear. It's something because my daughter could have died if that. If that yes. if was, she was shot with a hollow point bullet. Oh, if that bullet would have hit her in the chest, she would have been dead. Oh God, Ricky. Mm. And I just, I just, I just hate it. I Tell just hate we it. We love her. Send her our love and we praying yeah. for her. Ugh, that's so but, senseless. Going to get a burger. That that, that just don't make no sense. These you, you, yeah. Oh, Lord. So I, I, I just I just I just need everybody all over the country. Mm. And and we all need to figure out what we're gonna do about things that's going on in our own community because those numbers are far worse than the, than the ones that the police are doing. But I'm still with Black Lives Matter. I'm still with that movement, and and it and and, and it, it, it you make it hard for for people that's trying to do the right thing and trying to have rights for us. But look how we act and the things that we do to our own community. Us. You invalidate all the efforts and make yeah. our absolutely make our efforts feel irrelevant. They don't care. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm not gonna even merge that argument just because because I'm I'm with it. I'm still with it. I'm still gonna march. I'm still gonna protest. I still b believe in, in everything that they're doing and what they stand for. But we got to, we got to have a whole nother conversation after we uh, get finished with, with this and get some of the things. And after this election, it got to be a real conversation because we get mad. And, and they always say you're talking down to black folks when you have to correct us. 
You're talking down to your people. You done made it big and you're talking down to people. And But we continue to take the bullets and get affected and get robbed and get your house broke in and get and go through all of this stuff. But you can't say nothing or you get canceled or dragged on the Internet for talking down to black folks. When you are a victim of crimes from your own people. All the people in Chicago that got shot. All the parents that got to sit in the ER. Now I'm one of them got to sit in the ER uh, uh, down in the lobby because you can't go upstairs. I got to do that today and a flight. A, a flight to Dallas and drive three and a half hours to Houston by myself. I don't care. I'm a man. But it's just what we got to do. We're just in the middle of a fight. So you're fighting us and then you're fighting the police on the other end. So... We 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 gonna we gonna keep it rolling. We are gonna keep it moving. God is still good. God is still in the blessing business. And I don't care if you don't pray for nobody else. Don't worry about me. My daughter is fine. But please pray for all of the parents <laughs> whose kids was killed this weekend. More Ricky Smiley Morning Show coming up. So I think um. I got these, uh, I'm trying to pack a bag. I got these real sick, deep butterflies in my stomach. Can't even get my clothes together. I just don't know. I ain't never. So. can't imagine what parents have to go through whose child has been killed. You know, I just hate it. Just all the parents that have to bury their kids, just make sure you pray for them. Only thing you can do <sighs> you don't even know what to do. I'm trying to <laughs> Trying to pack a bag, don't know what to pack, can't think straight, nerves bad, butterflies in my stomach, my daughter in surgery, can't even get to her, gotta fucking, I don't, I don't know what to do, we got to stop gun violence, parents shouldn't have to go through this, my daughter ain't in no gang, she ain't did nothing wrong, she don't, she don't, she don't bother anybody, Mother's upset. I'm not crying just because that I'm just upset because the violence that we do to each other, man, the stuff that y'all sit up here and put families through. So if I feel the way I feel, just imagine somebody that got to go to the cemetery. Imagine how they feel. I'm so mad right now, I don't know what to do. Some nigga that came along and shot my damn daughter. And then, and then not just my daughter, five more, five people were shot. In that whole incident, five people, five are, are victims. None of them died, praise God. But five people were shot.
The reason I'm on Facebook Live, because I just want you to see that it's raw and it's real. I want you to see that what parents have to deal with when their children become victims of gun violence, the raw feeling, the shit you have to go through. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful this morning. I'm real grateful. Don't get it twisted. I'm grateful. I'm more than grateful that my daughter's alive. So now you got to sit here, pack a bag, jump on the plane, and then drive three and a half hours to get to her. Just, just where, just where she could, just where she could feel. Try to at least wake up, and her parents are there. tell y'all this stuff ain't nothing to play with nothing any community if there's any communities out there anybody uh got anything going on in the community that's about gun violence in our own community man make sure y'all support it make sure you support it because i tell you just because your kid in college and doing everything right don't mean that they won't become a victim of gun violence. And go out and support everything you can support. Just make sure you pray for all the family. I hope you go look at the Keisha Lance Bottoms video, the video she made last night. Can't blame this shit on the police. Our community matter. People scared to go somewhere and you embarrassing all of us that's out here standing side by side with Black Lives Matter. You embarrassing us. You making it harder for us. And I say us. I don't even say them because I'm a part of the movement. I support it. Us. A complete embarrassment. Imagine what my daughter's mother is going through right now. My daughter didn't do anything to anybody. She'll be fine. Thank you, thank you, Lister, and I'm straight. I got, I got my driver picking me up when I get to Dallas. And then I'm just gonna jump in my car and drive down to Houston where I could think. I don't wanna be in the car with nobody. I just wanna think and meditate. Stuff had your nerves so bad, I don't wanna make nobody else feel uncomfortable. I'm just going to drive down there. It's supposed to be a seven hour layover. So I'm just going to drive. So. So it just is what it is. It's life.
Y'all just make sure y'all keep all the all families lifted up in prayer. That's all I ask. All families. I'm trying to make sure I have everything. Flight in until three hours later, but I'm just gonna go sit in the airport. I don't want to, just nervous right now. I'm go sit still. I don't understand any of this, but we'll all understand it better by and by. So bad, man. Okay. My truck. Hey, thank y'all for your prayers. And um Y'all have a blessed day. I appreciate your support. Take this opportunity to pray for everybody, all these other families. That's all I ask. We, we going to be fine. All right, y'all. Have a good day.